Hi everyone, welcome back to my allotment diaries. So, I've got a bit of a headache today, but I came here because it's nice and peaceful and all the flowers are out and it's a lovely hot sunny day. So I thought I would just try and come out and get some fresh air, see if I can shift this headache. I've had it for like two weeks now. I don't know. Anyway, um, I had a massive panic yesterday because I realised that when I last came I uncovered my broccoli plants because I had the little plastic bottles over them and um, protecting them and I forgot to put them back on when I left so I was like in, in a complete panic thinking all my broccoli has been eaten and has gone and that's the only broccoli I've got and obviously it's too late to sow anymore so I'm going to go check it now so fingers crossed I still have broccoli plants guys Looking at okay thank god it looks like i can still see some plants i really must weed this this is just getting out of control as usual that one looks really good a couple of them have been nibbled oh crikey this one's all right that one's all right that one's all right oh shit that one's been eaten oh god we got some left thank god stresses me out when I make silly mistakes like that because I just think I could have lost all the broccoli just because I haven't covered them so but they seem to be all right I've got one two three four five maybe six maybe six I think that's enough isn't it for broccoli blimey I don't like it that much <laughs> but yeah okay right I think they need a little bit of TLC so I'm going to do I'm going to weed them really quickly because they need they need weeding and they need watering and they need just sort of looking after really maybe some slug defences this is the one that looks a bit limp looks a bit sad doesn't he I don't know if he's going to stand back up looks like he's been eaten been eaten by something I don't know no he looks like he's given up on life isn't he Giving up on life. Ah oh well. That can come, mate. Bag her off. Sometimes you just gotta be tough on these plants, you know. If it ain't gonna live, it ain't staying in my bed, I'm afraid. It's not a charity case. You need to grow broccoli or you're out. <laughs> At least there's no weeds around him now. You can sort of see him a bit clearly. A bit more like clearer. You can see where they are. But hopefully they sort of live. I don't know. It'd be nice just to have like a few broccolis so maybe i'll put some slug defenses down or something someone said it might be pigeons eating it like birds but that's what the bloody scarecrow's for look she's all the way over there maybe i should move the scarecrow yeah maybe i'll move the scarecrow actually it's a good idea because that that will stop pigeons i actually got scared by my own scarecrow when i got here <laughs> i was like who's that on my plot um but it's just the scarecrow so i might just move her now Maybe I should do a better job there, seeing as that's actually where the birds are coming to eat. So <laughs> maybe she'll uh, do some good there. Hey, Sally. I think Sally's quite a good name for her. I like Sally. All right, Sally's busy. Let's go find another job to do, I think. Right, another job I want to tackle today is to replant some of the runners that are coming off my strawberry plants. Um, I've got lots of runners coming off here now, so I'm going to have a look at them. If I can get this crappy bloody thing I've built off it, it's embarrassing now. I need to get Dave to make me a new one. It's just, watch when I get it off. Right, so I found four runners that I think are quite good. Um, but I don't want them to grow where they're going to grow. So this is my plan. And um, it's just my plan. I don't know if it's what you're supposed to do. Whatever. But I'll show you my plan. So, right, let me explain it. Right, step one, identify a runner. Here's a runner. That's quite a good one, right? Step two, pot of compost. Step three, put it on the compost. Step four, stick a little rock on it. Alright, 
and then that will grow roots and form a new strawberry plant and when it's rooted into that pot I will cut it and then I'll plant it over there and that's my plan right there's the runners that I found that I think are quite good they look quite strong so when they've rooted I'll just snip them and plant them where I want them I think that's all there is to it to be honest I really don't think it's that hard to um, regrow strawberries I think that is literally it um, because they literally would otherwise it would just sit on the ground and root to the ground so I'm just making the ground with a pot so that's kind of my logic <laughs> I should put that net over my broccoli because there's no more strawberries now so I don't need to protect them anymore I think I should put it over there I'm going to do that should we not right brace yourself for one of my mad ideas Hello, who's this? I haven't seen you around here before. Oh God, don't communicate it with it now. What are you doing? Stop making contact with these creatures. They stalk me. Oh, what's he doing there? Come to poo. It's come to go to the toilet. I know it has. It's all they want to do in my plot, wildlife, is poo in it. Poo in it. Dig it. I know he's off, he's gone. He's gone to find another toilet, thank God. I just wanted to show you something really weird is happening to one of my sunflowers. Um, so this one down here which seems to be in like its height of growth it seems really happy but bloody hell why is it growing leaves in the middle I don't know if this is focusing but yeah yeah there's look it's like leaves in the middle of my sunflower it's like another sunflower in the middle of my sunflower that is so weird isn't it I think it actually is another sunflower guys it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen why has that done that then? It's just weird, isn't it? It's just weird. It's like a double sunflower. Don't know. If it opens, I'll let you know, but none of the others are doing that. Weird, isn't it? Weird. <laughs> watching another of my riveting allotment diaries um i hope you're enjoying them obviously it was a lot easier to get down here during the lockdown because there was nothing else to do <laughs> and now everything's opened up so i'm just finding it a bit i'm just trying to find my feet we're trying to get down here and also make videos and stuff and deal with everything else so thank you for sticking around if you are if you're new i'd love for you to subscribe look back at some of my old videos see the, the progress here and um, hopefully I will see you again on Friday. Um, and yeah, have a lovely week. See you later. Bye.